Shalom, everybody. Hey. hey. All right, all right, all right. You're making me feel good on the night. <laughs> Listen, tonight, tonight, y'all, we got this hot topic. This hot topic. I'm so excited about sharing this tonight. It's all about gifts. Somebody said gifts. Gifts. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do yet, but we want to welcome you. Thank you. Come on in. Come on in. We about to bring this thing to life, honey. Listen, y'all come on in. Welcome for hanging with us tonight. We, we thank you. Y'all come on, tell the people we, we appreciate them hanging yeah, out with us. Yeah. We got an audience back here, y'all. So just keep in mind, I'm going to talk to y'all and them at the same time, all right? All right, let's see. Well, I got to call somebody up for prayer. Somebody got to pray for us on tonight. Because we can't start videos. We can't do this without prayer. So it might be... You. You know I love when people hide their stuff. Come on, Quanaya. Pray for us on tonight. Come on. All right. Come on. Pray for YouTube world, Facebook world, Instagram world. Okay. Um. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to tell you thank you. Thank, thank you, God. Thank you for this Bible study that we're about to have. And thank you for allowing the world to get on camera and record the Bible study and show the people what we're learning. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 It might be you the next time I'm going to call up the prayer. You might be even as nervous as she was. Yeah. It's not a Bible study, y'all. And she kept saying Bible study, but we understand what she's saying on tonight. All right, listen. So God had me pulling out the whiteboard. Somebody said whiteboard. Whiteboard. All right. For those of you that don't know, this is Hebrew. This is Shalom. And what Shalom means, hello. It means peace. It means all type of things. But today it means hello. All right. <laughs> so let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of this. All right. Here's my whiteboard. Now, y'all look at the board. What's on it? Nothing. There is nothing on this board. That means that the board is what? Empty. So when we come to God, we need to come to Him empty. Empty. All right? I need y'all to be. Come on now. Yeah. We need to come to God empty so He can fill us up. All right? So y'all ain't got no board in front of y'all. Y'all just pretend on the night. This is your mind. All right? The board is your mind. Make sure your mind cleared and empty so God can fill you. All right? So, this is what God has shown me. And I want to teach you all this. And trust and believe, there is so many content that I'm going to put out here. There's so many things that God is teaching me. And I have to share with somebody. Because when God gives you a thing, it's not just for you. It's not just for you, but it's for somebody else. All right? So, here it is. We're going to draw a little diagram. Somebody said diagram. Diagram. Y'all forgive my handwriting because look, I'm used to writing on the side. I write to the side. And you know, this is straight board, so I may have to put my paper. Somebody's a paper. Paper. I know. Y'all, I like to turn my paper to the side and I like to write like that. So just forgive the scribble scrabble you're going to see on this board tonight. So here is a diagram, right? And what God showed me was this. It might look like a big old apple head, y'all, but forgive it. All right? Somebody say stone. Stone. Watch this. Somebody give me two descriptions of a stone. Hard. Somebody say hard. It's hard. What else? A rock. It's a rock. All right? So, when you're looking at this diagram, what I like to do, I love to use the Word of God. Because it brings up nothing but truth. So, we're going to use the scripture, Luke. Y'all see my marker when I act up tonight? See, he's going to be just like my children. I'm going to have to bust his behind. Alright? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to look at scripture tonight, which is Luke 11 and 11. Alright? So, the question is asked in that, in that particular verse. It says... Do you know any father that would, and I'm paraphrasing, but I'm telling y'all the truth. 
Do you know any father that children or his son is asking for bread and he give them stone? Stone? Or he give them a serpent for a fish? Mm -hmm. Right? That's a question, is it? Right. What well, daddy you know that they're gonna give their son stone? Right? Mm -hmm. So God ain't giving us stone, but he is giving us come on now. What we get what he giving us? Bread. Bread. So I want y'all to give me two descriptions that the Bible talk about this word when it comes to bread. Bread is what? The word of God. It's word. Oh, somebody is smart up in here today. Somebody paying attention. It's word and what else? Life. It's life. So God is not going to give his children stone, but he's going to give his children bread. Bread, which is? Word. And it gives us life. So let's talk about one thing that God gives, all right? <sighs> I love this. God gives us, somebody help me on tonight. Gifts. Yes. Gifts. What is the first gift that God has given it to us? Holy Spirit. Come on. Oh, I got some Bible readers in my house. He. Oh. Holy Spirit. What did he give us? Holy Spirit. So in the word of God, because y'all remember now, we like to stick with word. When the Holy Spirit is coming, mm -hmm. he said he's going to send us a what? He's going to send us a what? Comforter. A comforter. I hope y'all still can see my board. He's going to send us a comforter. Mm -hmm. What does a comforter do? Comfort. They comfort Oh my God, somebody's paying attention. I love this one tonight. So here it is. God is not going to give his children stone, but he's going to give us bread, all right? Mm -hmm. Bread is described as the word. Something to what? Eat. Something to eat, and it gives us life. life. So we're talking about something that God gives us on today, so we know that it is Life. It's life, but it's also what? Word. It's biblical. Come on, somebody up in here. So God gives us gifts. And the first gift he gives us is what? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, which is our? Comforter. Comforter and he brings us? Comfort. So anytime God gives you a gift. Come on, let's, let's, let's do this diagram right. Anytime God gives us a gift, number one, it has to first have the what in it? Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit and it also brings what? Comfort. comfort. It brings comfort. So any gift that God gives you, it is not what? Hard. No. It's not hard. It's not a stone. I'm going to tell you that right now because he ain't going to give you nothing hard. He going to give you something that would comfort. comfort you. So tonight, we are going to illustrate a gift that God gives because it's not hard. It's easy. All you got to do is receive it and accept it. Now, nobody said the journey that we are traveling down won't be easy, but that gifting will. Some people say, well, why? <laughs> oh, God. Why can't I do that? Why can't I do that? Because you ain't got the gift to do it, okay? <laughs> All right. So, we're going to take one dream tonight since our series for the next couple of weeks is going to be on dreams, right? Right. Y'all, don't be talking about my eraser. Pray for it. All right? Because it's doing the best it can do. All right. So we're going to take a dream. And I want you guys to understand something. Dreams, right? Mm -hmm. To me, that is a gift that God given to us. Why? Because he speaks to us through dreams. He will allow us to know something that's going on in the past, the present, and in the future. Right? right. The thing that takes place. The thing that takes residence in your life. Right. He does that. And if we don't have dreams, then how can we hear that type of way? Because we can hear all type of other ways. But we like to hear from dreams. You know what I mean? One thing I like about dreams, it reminds me of parables in the Bible. The only way you're going to be able to unlock that is if you really know Christ. God has to be the one to tell you. Because if you're not a child, you ain't going to be able to figure that one out. Alright? So, 
I can teach you guys certain things that God teaches me out of dreams, like far as symbols, the settings, the colors, numbers. But you have to also understand that when you have dreams, somebody wake up, well, come on, wake up, wake up. <laughs> y'all sleeping on me tonight. I don't like that. Now, I can show y'all certain things in dreams, but you got to also keep it in mind that you have so many symbols, numbers, colors, pictures, drawings, whatever. You got all these things in dreams at different timing. So it means that it doesn't mean the same thing every time, okay? Right. So... There's only one person that gives interpretation, and that's God. That's right. So I can teach you symbols, but I cannot teach you interpretation because okay. that don't come from me. Okay. okay. So we're doing this tonight so you can see the gift. Somebody that say that they have the gift now, I want to remind somebody that when I do give dream interpretation as God gives it to me, I don't have boards like this, okay? It's all in my mind and I have to, whatever I'm hearing. But I want to kind of display what goes on, all right, to the best of my ability. All right, here it is. One of my daughters is about to tell a dream and we're not going to make this video too long because I want you to be able to come back tomorrow. Y'all know how them preachers go when they sit there talking about, oh, we about to be done. Talk about, oh, come on, we about to be finished. <laughs> and the Lord say, <laughs> and they've been doing that for another 50 more minutes. Yeah. And that make the people mad and say, you know what, that's exactly why I shouldn't come to church tonight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, come on. We're going to have one of my daughters tell me her dream. All right? Okay. You can sit right there and tell it to us. Wait, do I say the names or don't say the names? Don't say names. Just say aunt, granny, granddaddy, you know, things like that. <laughs> okay, so basically fake names. You don't ever have to say names. Just call them by aunt, uncle, or say grandmama, okay. or my mama. You know, things like that. It's fine. Okay. So basically, it was my birthday. All right. I want y'all to see something. What did she say it was? Her birthday. birthday. Alright. So we're going to put down birthday on the board. Alright. Go ahead. And um, I was getting a lot of gifts for my birthday. Alright. From my friend. Alright. And we, me and my friend had took a picture. We were okay. taking pictures. Come on. And then that's when... Um, I had got, I had got home and I had got more presents and his, his mom had met your mom, I mean, met you. All right. So, I'll say, parent, parents meeting. Uh -huh. All right. And he wanted me to open my gifts in front of him. Okay. Go ahead. And then that's when um, I, it had got to a school part where I was at school. Uh -huh. And I was walking across the classroom. Okay. And then I had looked at the floor and then I saw that it was starting to crack and stuff like that. All right. And then I was trying to get everybody's attention and tell them that the floor was cracking, but they wasn't listening. And then I kept saying and then finally got their attention. And then that's when everybody was... Leaving the class, like trying to get out the class, and I saw my two friends in the back of the class, and I was trying to go and save them because um, the cracks was getting bigger, and yeah, they had. Then that's when um, I was telling them how um, you had told me that this was gonna happen in a text earlier that okay. day. Okay. And. All right. And yeah, and then I had called you to tell you what happened, and you was like, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and that's all. And that's all? All right. So did you hear a dream out there? Did y'all hear a dream? Yes. Come on, somebody talk to me. Yes. Gosh. All right. So here it is. You got birthday. What do you do on a birthday? You celebrate. Celebrate. Celebration. So, somebody needs to what? 
Celebrate. Celebrate. The person who dreamed this has got lots of what? Yes. yes. All right. Now, I want y'all to see something about gifts. She got her gifts from what? Her friend. Her friend. So let's go together, right? Mm -hmm. Who gives us gifts spiritually? Who only can give us the gifts? God. God. So God, he looks at her as his friend. His friend. So he's giving her gifts, not one gift. If he was giving her one gift, then we would consider it as, as the Holy Spirit. Okay, but he's giving her multiple gifts. That means that he has something, a purpose for her to come out here and do some things. Mm -hmm. But he is waiting for her to do what? Open, Open the gifts. gifts. Open her gifts. She hasn't done what yet? Open it. She hasn't opened it yet. That's why she's not operating in her gifts yet. Make sense already? Mm -hmm. All right, so she's not operating in this yet. Now, picture is what? Tell me some things about a picture. Memory. 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 Well, y'all ain't playing today. All right. Memories, right? Mm -hmm. All right. What else about a picture? Uh, Are y'all good with this right here? Yeah. Are y'all good with that? All right. So a picture is what? Memory. 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 So there is going to be something that she can celebrate, uh -huh. right? right? The gifts. All right. She's going to be able to celebrate. Because of the gifts that God has given to her. Uh -huh. Right? And this is going to be something she's going to remember. remember Alright? Because the picture is memory. Right. Alright? So her mom is going to meet with somebody else's wife. Mom. Her mom is going to meet with somebody. Okay? And did you say discuss why they talked? What was they talking about? So her mom is going to be meeting with somebody and they're going to have a conversation. Okay? okay? So here it is. School. What do we do at a school? Learn. You learn and you work. All right. You learn. Hope y'all can still see this. Hope y'all paying attention. You learn and you do what? Work. Work. But what was happening when she got to the school? The floor was cracking. The floor was cracking. cracking. Now, anytime you look at a floor that cracks, what's the first thing you think about? Earthquake. Earthquake. You think about an earthquake, right? Right. What does an earthquake bring? Shaking. Shaking. Oh, oh, boy. It bringing a shaking. So that's an action, all right? Mm -hmm. So, therefore, my daughter... She can go ahead and celebrate mm -hmm. because God got some gifts for her that he is waiting for her to open. And I can tell you it's going to be something that she's going to remember. Right. There is going to be something that's going to take place. The school is where you learn and work. There's going to be a what? Shaking mm -hmm. in the school that's going to cause them not to be able to what? Learn. Learn or work. Or work. A shaking. So here it is. Text message. What is a text? A it's a message. Is this just a message? No, it's not a regular message. It's not a regular message, but what is it? A warning message. Is it what? Warning. It's a message of warning, right? Right. Oh wait, you gotta back it up. What did she say happened in the text message? She said her mom did what? Told her. Told, told her. her. Y'all gotta talk loud. Told her it was gonna happen. Okay. So, you can go ahead and be excused. Go ahead. So, her mom told her what was going to happen before it what? Happened. Before it happened. So, it wasn't just a message. It was a what? Prophecy. I don't think I spelled it right. Excuse me, y'all. It was a prophecy, right? Mm -hmm. So it was a, her mama prophesied what was going to happen for before it what? Happened. And she was giving what? Warning. She was giving warning. Now watch this. My daughter is inside the school trying to save people from doing what? 
Falling in the crack. So that dream should tell you one of the things that she's going to try to do. Help people get what? Saved. Help people get saved. You ought to be able to celebrate. Because these are gifts that God, your friend, gave into you. It's going to be something you're going to be able to remember. Because it's pictures. Memories. Y'all taking pictures together. It's going to be something you're going to be able to remember. Mom is going to have a meeting with somebody. It's going to be a conversation that you know nothing about. God is waiting for you to open your gifts. He's waiting. He's standing right there waiting. There's going to be a shaking. In the what? Earth. In the earth. It's going to cause people to not want to do what? Learn or work. Learn or work. And somebody is going to prophesy that it's going to happen before it happened. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why he's giving the dream interpretation. This is prophecy right here. But this is your warning. Because this is going to happen. It's going to take place. There's going to be a shakening in the earth that's going to cause people to not want to go to school and not want to do work. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we got to look for this to come. I want y'all to see something else. I'm sitting there giving you symbols, right? But the interpretation is as I'm hearing it. You get it? Mm -hmm. Come on around in here, I'm telling you. Because I need everybody to hear this before we end this video because this is very important. You good right there. Dreams and dream interpretations, it comes from God. It's nothing that we should be playing with. You understand? Mm -hmm. Come on, talk to me. You understand? Yes. yes it's a lined up. These are things that's going on. And it's easy separated when you can hear from God. You eliminate some things. Sometimes you might start off with... Let me give an example. Let me erase this part of it. Sometimes you can start off with a word like, somebody give me a word. Excuse me. Uh, All right, dog. Say dog, right? A dog is a what? Animal. Animal. What else is a dog? Best friend. What else? A pet. Somebody that what? Protects. Protects. So if you got a dream, right? If you got a dream that's telling you something about... Let me kind of think of something right quick. If you got a dream that's telling you that... The dog came and protected you when somebody else was trying to harm you, right? Mm -hmm. Some of these words is going to have to be eliminated. So if God has given the dream interpretation, you have to hear the words. And it's similar to this. The dog is doing what? Protecting. Protecting, right? His job is to protect. So, you can take that off. You can eliminate that word. Because we already know what the dog does, right? Mm -hmm. But who would the dog be considered? Your animal, your best friend, or your pet? Your best friend. Your best friend. So, now we know what the dream is about. God is showing that my best friend is protecting me. From somebody who's talking about me and who's trying to harm me. Alright? That's good. That's real good. Alright. So now we are about to go ahead and close this video. I, I pray that every last one of you got something out of this. And trust me, it's going to be way more to come. Because he has been sh sharing and teaching me certain things that I want to share with you. And this right here is amazing. Absolutely. It's amazing. 
but keep in mind, every time you come to God, make sure and very sure that you do this right here. Erase things out of your mind. Erase it. And come to him empty. So he can fill you up again. Because it's going to take you to come to this whiteboard. Why am I saying this? And we're going to end this. Because there's going to be some things that he wants for your eyes to see that you ain't going to want to see. But it's going to be keeping you from going to this place according to Job 33. He's going to be keeping you from going to the pit. And how he, he's going to do that? He got to strip away this thing right here called pride. God shows us dreams. That's good. That's real good. And he gives us the interpretation. I like that. And a lot of times it's not what we want to what? See. That's why you see me put the X right here. Something that we don't care to see. Mm -hmm. But you want to know why we don't want to see it? Because pride. of this thing right here. That's right. Pride. But if we don't get rid of pride, uh -huh. we're going to see this place that he's trying to keep us from. My Lord. It's called the pit. So I want everybody to be encouraged on tonight and bless God for what he just shared with you. Because I'm excited. Let me tell y'all something. I'm super excited. That's, that's great. These things right here, people want to charge for it. But I have made up in my mind to follow Jesus all the way. I'm not charging for anything that God has given to me. Because when he gave it to me, he gave it to me and it was free. That's right. So when he has me counseling, when he has me speaking, when he has me doing anything, I'm not going to take anything for it because he will take care of me. That's right. And if you keep that same mindset... Keep the same mindset. Because what God wants us to do is remain humble. That's right. Humble is the way. That's good. My grandmama has this saying. She likes to say this. See, the, it's the humble child that's going to taste the grace. That's right. Woo! I like that. That's right. The humble children taste grace. Mm -hmm. So be encouraged on tonight and today. Whatever time it is in your time zone, be encouraged because I promise you there is way more of this to come.